In Bintok, paper mache artist Rainer Rochelle took some time off last to present a workshop on the art form he practices. We visited the workshop on a sunny summer's morning and found a group of enthusiastic men and women working away at their paper mache sculptures. Yeah. Why do you choose paper mache as medium to work in? Paper mache is uh, normally a waste material which the people throw away. In our uh, uh, high industrialized countries, we have learned already how, uh, difficult, it, uh, how difficult it is to uh, throw all the waste away, and we have learned about, a lot about recycling uh, uh, possibilities. And when you see, for example, at those sculptures there, and when you think about that they are consisting only about old newspapers, then you can see what you can do also with stuff which you were throwing away before. I would like to get uh, people into their mind that when they are throwing paper away, that it is worth still something. <laughs> That is not uh, uh, painted yet uh, properly, but it will be painted. You can have a look. That is pure paper machine. Rochelle has promised to show Arts and Ends viewers how he makes a paper mache sculpture. But more about that in a later program. We leave you with a visit to an artist with something totally different in mind. Christopher Gage, born South African and international mime artist, visited Namibia briefly to bring his soundless art form to audiences at the Warehouse Theatre in Wintook. I always wanted to be an actor, which I studied you know, for quite a long time at Rhodes University in the Grand's time. But um, to be an actor, we need both the voice training and the body training. And um, the body, in a way, is where acting actually happens. It happens. You know, if one's feeling something like you sort of happy or sad, it registers in the body. If you see your friend walking across the road, you can tell whether they're happy or sad, what kind of mood they're in, what they're thinking because of the body. Because acting or personality or thought actually happens in the muscles of the body. Then later, it's transferred to the word. And when you study, to be an acting, you're also studying to learn. You study what the voice is said in the body. And the body training is actually the more sincere, because that actually is where acting happens. In mind, you only have your body. 